my god, like I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since yesterday. And this, the chicken in this place, if anyone is familiar with farm fresh chicken, I'm pretty sure most big supermarkets, Publix, the chicken here has my stomach rumbling OD right now. But I'm gonna stay focused because I need to work out before I break this fast, before I eat anything. So, focus, bricks. Focus. My snack hacks video got cut short last time because I had to pick up my daughter, so I'm gonna finish it off today. So explain to them the trick about the tortillas. So explain. I make chips out of them. Cut them up, I put a little spray on it or olive oil, depending if you need olive oil. And then I bake them for like seven to minutes and they're way better than the chips. What do you put the oven on? 375. Someone asked me that. 375. I say seven to 10 minutes, but I, I kind of just look at it to it turn brown. And that's how you make chips out of tortilla wraps instead of greasy chips, greasy chips in the back. Candace makes this mug cake, right? It kind of replaces cupcakes or cake. She uses this pumpkin puree. We use that protein powder that I just bought and she puts a little bit of protein pancake mix. Now they don't have the version of the protein pancake mix that uh, we use here, but I'm going to, she's agreed to give us the recipe and I'm gonna put it in the description. So pumpkin puree, protein powder, a little bit of protein pancake mix, and a little bit of peanut butter, epic. Now for the biggest snack hack of them all, honey buns. No, I'm just playing, don't eat these shits. Okay, Walden Farms, this company right here, they make amazing zero everything products, right? So, I'll wait. So they make ketchup, they make pancake syrup. I use the pancake syrup, they make chocolate syrup. This sucks, it's hit or miss, right? But in general, their products are really good and it's literally nothing in it, like literally. See, look, zero fat, zero calories, zero carbs. I particularly use their salad dressings. Their salad dressings are bomb. Yo, their salad dressings are good. Their ketchup sucks. Don't get their ketchup. But Walden Farms, try try what you try um, a few of their products, see which ones you like. Just don't don't just take my word for it, but it's definitely a snack hack because dressings, you save so many calories with dressings. Syrup, you save so many calories with syrup. So Walden Farms, can't go wrong. Skinny Pop. It's a good alternative to the regular popcorn. It has pretty good stats. I like it. So this is this, the uh, supposed healthy snacks or protein bar section. And it looks different in every supermarket, but there's so many to choose from. A lot of the time, like this is crap. Like you don't want to eat that. That's nasty. I mean, it's no good for you. So, and it's kind of hard. I understand it's hard to choose a protein bar. So I'm going to give you some simple rules to follow when choosing a protein bar. Now, look at the carbs, look at the sugars, and then look at the protein, of course. So, the higher the protein, the better, of course. That goes without saying. Um, 20, 20 grams of carb is about average, right? So anything more than that. But if it has 20 grams of carbs and it only has six grams of protein, then it's no good. You don't, you don't wanna deal with, with that. Um, watch the calories because some of these bars have upwards of 420 calories per bar so and it's okay to use that if, it, if it's a meal replacement but if it's just like a snack in between meals you don't want to be eating a 400 calorie a, a 420 calorie protein bar so i i usually stick to pure protein and these are the supermarket brands pure protein quest uh what else babe that's all we eat no, no, no. The, no, we eat the um. The one at Walmart, the dude Ivan or Robert Irving or whatever they was. Yeah. The uh, Fit Crunch, Fit Crunch. The Fit Crunch bars. Those are pretty good too. They but they have big bars too, so be be careful that if you can find the smaller ones, grab those. So this is our grocery haul. We got some ice drinks, 
some almond milk creamer. She drinks coffee. Provolone, low, low fat provolone. Some Brussels sprouts, some eggs, brown turkey, uh, peers, avocados, limes. No, I mean, these are avocados, these are limes. Some rice cakes, some apples, some stevia, which is my sweetener of choice. Some cranberries, fiber one, snacks. I heard these are pretty good. This is our first time trying them. Folded uh, flatbreads and some whole grain Thomas's English muffins. Some olive oil, some ground cinnamon. This is what we're buying right now. Good job.